Welcome to this short, short interview with Barrister Mohammed Sanar Hussain, Head of Chambers, S. Hussain Associates, Law Office. He is also an advocate in Bangladesh Supreme Court. So, hello Mr. S. Hussain, good morning. Uh, good morning Mr. Rakib, how are you? Um, very good, uh, fine. Uh, so, Barrister Hussain, uh, we know that your firm deals with a lot of cross-border family disputes or family disputes faced by non-resident Bangladeshis. Uh, can you please tell us more? Uh, Thank you for your question. I think uh, today's Bangladesh is uh, developing very fast economically, which is also resulting into a lot of family disputes because of you know complexity in relationship in this country. As you know, a very large amount of Bangladeshis live abroad. They migrate to foreign countries for a better living. At this moment more than 5 million Bangladeshis are living in different countries of the world like United States, United Kingdom, the whole Europe, Middle East, Australia, Canada, everywhere in the world who were married in Bangladesh. So their marriage document or marriage registration was done in Bangladesh and many of them are domiciled in Bangladesh. Very few percentage of Bangladeshis who are living abroad are actually citizens of that country. They still have citizenship of Bangladesh. Okay. So when they decide to register a divorce, they face problem. That whether I have to travel to Bangladesh, what will be the procedure, can I divorce with the help of Bangladesh High Commissioner Embassy. So uh, when a Bangladeshi living abroad or a foreign national who was married to a Bangladeshi decides to divorce, they face many legal questions. We have uh, for you know more than four or five years worked with this sort of cases and we have established I think I was a thorough, thorough uh, expertise in this uh, arena of family practice starting from uh, family law divorce, legal opinion, family assets, even, even how to withdraw divorce as well. And marriage between a Bangladeshi and a foreigner, marriage between people from different religions, so all kinds of, you know, these family are related legal disputes, you know, how we can help. We can help. So, do you see any need for change in law now? Uh, yes, I would, I would say, uh, you know, one area that is uh, that is uh, uh, that needs to be addressed by the legislature is that for Bangladeshis living abroad, for outside, for Bangladeshis living okay. outside Bangladesh, mm -hmm. there are uh, no specific legislation regarding how they should register marriage or divorce in Bangladesh. There are some set precedents or practices that we follow. Uh, Sometimes we also go between the lines, but I think this is a gray area which needs to be addressed and. Uh, clear legislation needs to be made. Uh, this is must be helpful. Uh, now, uh, what about further civil and criminal cases which result from family dispute? Yes. Yeah. Uh, unlike developed countries, where after divorce the only issue is you know how to how to uh, settle the family property, what will be the custody of the children. These are also the case in Bangladesh and also, also the case for any family dispute in Bangladesh, be that Bangladesh is living in Bangladesh or Bangladesh is living outside Bangladesh. Other things that are peculiar to Bangladesh is that uh, sometimes we will see that criminal cases are being filed by one side against another for, you know, be that uh, domestic violence, dowry, okay, okay. all sorts of things. So, uh, we also help the parties who face criminal cases or if you know a woman is not paid his uh, dower or then mohor yes. she needs to file civil cases so we also help filing cases on behalf of both sides okay. be that uh, husband or be that wife so the civil and criminal cases that flows or that results unfortunately from these family proceedings are also dealt by us okay Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.